Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. We are still in uh, Triet, and look who's back. So, all I did was just fight a couple more fights in uh, the, uh, the, the Triet Ruins. Is it called Triet Ruins? Desert Ruins? Whatever. Success report. Looks like there are four treasure chests in this area that you haven't gotten yet. Four. Well, I know of one. Maybe it's counting... Might it be counting the that other place, that mountain pass or whatever, that we haven't even gone to yet? It would be kind of silly if it counted that towards this area, but... I mean, I don't know where else there would be treasure chests. Okay, so... Wait, what? Isn't it supposed to give me the treasures? No, no, that's fine. Didn't explicitly say... No, 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 not this. Never mind. Uh... Yes, about... Checking for missed items. We'll check and see if there are any treasure chests you overlooked in our respective area. If it's somewhere you can't go anymore, we'll go get the treasure for you. But I... I looked around there once again. I have not found any way, unless maybe at some point we'll get the, the ability to change the, the element of our sorcerer's ring. And maybe we'll be able to change it to frost or water and, and extinguish those, those uh, torches that we lit to lower the platforms. Huh. Weird. Okay, well, so this was all for nothing. Knowing that there are apparently four treasure chests does not really help me at all. I mean, maybe there are some actually out in the field like this. But if they're just in random locations on the map, not indicated by any landmarks, and if I'm going to have to run around like this for the most part, my character basically hugging the the northern end, top end of the screen, for no reason, other than to make it inconvenient. And yeah, I don't know. I guess I won't find them. Such a weird system. I mean, how are you supposed to find anything like this? At least, at least, give me a little bit more view. Ahead. Oh, okay, I guess. I never found this. <laughs> uh, you seem happy. Yeah. It might seem inconsiderate, but I'm having a lot of fun and I'm really happy. Why? Well, it's because I've made a lot of friends. You were my only friend until now, you know? Hey, what about Genus? Yeah, we stuck out like a sore thumb. No, I was the only one that stuck out. You were just nice and always kept me company. That's why you're my favorite person in Isalia. Aw. Oh, uh, thanks. Hmm. Well, I mean, the, um, the anime intro kind of spoiled that, um, not much of a spoiler to begin with, that they might develop more of a relationship. There was that one scene where they seemed pretty close. It's not entirely unprecedented for the male and female lead of a game to basically have a little romance going on. So finally the the rock slide or whatever has been Stop. cleared away. What now? Oh, another one from the intro. What? Is she a friend of yours, Lloyd? <laughs> Not yet. Not that I'm aware of. Is the chosen of mana among you? The chosen of what now? No, I, I don't think so. You you must have the wrong group of travelers here. Oh, that's me. Oh, Colette, really? <sighs> Prepare to die. See, that's exactly why you don't say that kind of thing. What? Uh oh. Though. Uh oh. That seems highly unlikely. What should I do? I did it again. You don't need to worry about it. Yeah, I mean, 
She clearly had the intent to kill you, so... If she had not fallen in, you might have been killed. But... <laughs> Leave her alone? She's an enemy? I mean, that's the reasonable thing to say. But I also know that she's... Going to be an ally at some point? Yeah. I mean, we're definitely not going to leave her here. Either way, right? <sighs> well, I guess I do feel a bit sorry for her. Just a tiny little bit, though. I want to make that clear. I hope she's okay. Yeah, she she's probably going to be okay. Even assuming her weight to be 45 <laughs> kilograms, and this hole to be 10 meters deep... Is it 10 meters deep? That's pretty deep. Constant at 9.8, the impact shouldn't have been fatal. Gravity constant? <laughs> I don't understand what you just said, but she's alive, right? Probably. Still, man, she's got some bad luck standing right on top of a trap door and all. Yeah, I mean, what what are the odds? And a trap door that's operated with a very uh, clearly marked lever right next to it? That's uh, an unusual setup. It's not a trap. It's a hidden maintenance passage for the mountain oh. path. Oh, okay. I guess that makes just ever so slightly more sense. We should get moving. Hey, shouldn't we try to find out who that woman was? I mean, maybe, but then again, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the reasonable thing would be She'll to make sure that after us again on her own. Yeah. This area is too confined. And the footing is poor. It would be wise not to linger. I mean, what really would be wise would be to make sure that she doesn't come after us and actually finish her. Someone who comes charging at you, uh, screaming, die, uh, is not really someone you should be wor too worried about or, you know, whose welfare you should be too worried about. Painful, yeah. I guess. I mean, we could try to use a rope or something to get down more safely, but again, we really shouldn't even want to. Hello. Are you? You are enemies. Okay, cool. Good to know. Give them no quarter. I mean, that's what I thought. But... Uh, archers and thieves. Okay. Assuming the the archers are also thieves. Ouch. Just as I expected. All right, let's go. Oh, what? You're not flowers, Mandragoras. Okay, I guess that makes some sense. This bear, though, we—you'd you'd think that we should have seen this one coming from far away. Oh, ouch! Did not successfully dodge uh, or block that attack. And now he's on attack. Of course. Enemies always attack the moment I stop blocking. Almost as if the AI... Well, I mean, I, that one was advertised. Also, this is a little bit loud here. There we go, that's better. Yeah, it's almost like the AI is monitoring whether I'm blocking or not. And timing its attacks. I mean, it might be doing that. Which... Might be considered cheating, but it might also be that I'm just not very good at this is gonna be a piece of combat in this game. No <laughs> what even are we fighting here? An XP. Oh, oh, XPs. Those were in Face of Hysteria. They looked a little bit. I don't know, better. But that game just looked better in general, so. Don't overdo it. Oh, critical damage. Nice. That was a little bit better. So this is one chest. Battle stuff. Uh, if there are three chests in this area, then I guess ex exactly three that is. Then that kind of confirms my suspicion. Um, equipment, battle staff. Wait, 
It's, uh, no, not yours. It's for her. It's a nice upgrade, but if she's not using this, the, the staff to fight, what use is it? Hmm. So all she's learned so far is strictly healing and, and support stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I feel a little bit bad for not using her at all, but it also seems like she's just not going to be useful in, in most normal fights. I, mean, I can certainly see situations where you want that extra protection and healing. Maybe in some boss fights, but then again, having another person to actually deal damage to the boss is probably... It's almost always going to be as good, if not better. I don't know. I guess for the time being, we'll just have her around and not necessarily have her fight with us. He's already dead. Ouch. Punch me, come on. Ah, don't block my attacks. Oh. Ah, these things are way too tanky. Oh, Grats Colette. Well, so far this area looks extremely linear. I hope I haven't overlooked some kind of side passage. But if there was one, it certainly wasn't very clearly advertised. Which of course doesn't mean that there isn't any. But will you stop kicking me, you jerk? Ouch. Seem to be the same birds from a lot earlier. Um, um, what? <laughs> so all these little voice samples are strange. Rain acquired recover. Yeah, again, that sounds very much like a recovery skill. Again, it's nice. I guess she might not learn any offensive skills at all. And that's okay, she doesn't. Wow, these was all the damage just just now coming from those those mandragoras. That's number two and three. Apple gel. Melange gel. Alright. And a save point. I mean, other than TP wise, we're looking pretty good here. So, are we gonna have some kind of boss fight? Is Mystery Woman actually going to come after us? Strictly linear. I guess I'll just kill every enemy along the way once. Might be a little bit over leveled now because I spent a bit more time fighting enemies in the desert and the ruins than I had to. Trying to make fast time. And I guess ultimately that worked. I wouldn't know. Oh, what? Um, that's a first. Grab attack. Nice. I don't know what else might have. Caused uh, the cat's exploration to to finish, other than just number of combat spots. Oh 
And I also wonder if um, the money you pay determines how long it takes. I mean, maybe the entire thing can just fail and they tell you they couldn't find anything. Don't let up. But that would be really disappointing after waiting for so long. I mean, 500 geld is not a lot of money in this game. So maybe I was a little bit too stingy. Who knows, maybe if I had paid 1,000, it would have only taken half as many fights. Maybe if, I, if you pay, pay 5,000, it, it's done basically instantly. I guess that would be... I could see that working. I could see it working that way. Oh, well, so much for my theory, there is. Chest number five. Well, there's no four in this area. Take out, thank you. Oh, okay. So I have some rogue mages here as well. Just as I expected. Orange gel. Alrighty then. Oh. Yeah, what is it? Oh. Seriously? That's extremely convenient for you and inconvenient for us. Wow, she caught up with us. Yeah, it turns out that was some kind of shortcut. Maybe we should have jumped down after her. Oh, thank good. Don't move. A wise decision. <sighs> what? Not to move? I won't be caught off guard this time. Prepare to die. Hey, Zagi 2.0. Or actually, I guess, 0 0.1. What the hell is this? Hold on. Uh, Guardian Wind. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Don't do that. Fuck. Okay. That somersault attack seems particularly effective here. <laughs> nice, nice still there. Oh, and our guardian is taken care of. But we don't know her name. No, clumsy, clumsy assassin. Clumsy because she fell into that trapdoor. I mean. And she's already taken down, yeah. I don't know, maybe that's, this fight was supposed to, to be somewhat easy. Wow, grade 4.78? Huh, okay, that's that might be the highest grade I've ever achieved so far. We did finish this, well, quote-unquote boss fight in under a minute, so... That might have to do something with it. Might have Just something to wait. do with it, I swear rather. I will kill you all next time! Ah, oh, this kind of wait. thing, huh? Team Rocket blasts off again. Us? There are always those that reject salvation. Yeah, why though? Maybe she's a desire. Hmm. Who knows? At any rate, we are in constant danger. That's all we have to know. Those clothes. Professor, something wrong? No, it's nothing. Let's go. What? What's with her clothes? I'm afraid I didn't really pay too close attention there? Yeah. Anyway, let's go look for a place where we can get a ship. We also haven't seen a skit in a long time. I wonder if one's going to pop up now. It's usually in response to, you know, events that happened. Hmm. Oh, nothing here. We can't take a look in here. Oh, there we go. Uh, it looks like the tunnel is still usable. I wonder if it was abandoned recently. It doesn't look like they exhausted the ore. There must have been some reason why they had to cease mining operations. The designs. Most likely, yes. That's a pretty safe bet, I suppose. Hmm, I mean... I have no particular reason to go in here, I guess. Other than it's a dungeon, ex it exists. Black silver. Okay, sounds like some kind of material. Um, yes. Okay. Oh. Well, let's find a couple more bears. 
mind bears. Oh, fight skill, huh? What now? It's too bad that you, at least as far as I am aware, uh, that you can't switch your attacks. Or can you? Oh, you totally can. Never mind. So we just learned Beast, huh? I mean, I guess technically Demon Fang is the one I use the least, but it's nice to have a skill that, or a tech that has some range to it. Hmm. Slam battle energy into the enemy and blow it away. I mean, other than Demon Fang, uh, Sonic Thrust is probably the least useful. Of these, I mean, Tempest is kind of situational, but I like it. Let's let's try Beast. Nope. What? Oh, I'm out of TP, of course. Yeah, well, yeah, it's those, those vines from you. Are they called Thunder Oh, I mean, that looks powerful. It's also kind of slow. It takes a moment before it actually goes off. Yeah, these ladies deal a ton of damage. Much more than you would think. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. But I guess I'll lose... I kind of use the right hand rule. Oh. Can we reach this? Yes. No problem. Oh, examine one. Oh, there was. A wow, sneaky. That was completely invisible. Beast Fang was found. Extreme level one. Nice. And. Is that an enemy? Hello? That might not be an enemy. Okay, what did we find here? Beast Fang. Okay, let's just. Trade item. Gotcha. I mean, do I put all my X gems on him for now? Strong, tough, taunt, sharp eyes. That's yeah, exactly the same set. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I guess since he is the main character, or I could. And she has the the exact same set. Hmm. So technically, I could give her X attack as well. Sharpite is doing what exactly? Huh. Physical attack damage on enemies with low evasion. Yeah, whatever. Not entirely sure what kind of enemy that refers to. Hmm. I could. Oops. This. Uh, this is slightly confusing. Magical tough taunt dodge. So I could try and look for skill combinations uh, for him, because he's using a different set. Maybe magical and tough, or magical and dodge combined into something. Hmm. The thing is, I I guess I'll. Give him, yeah, I'll I'll give him the, the the gems first, since I can use sharp eye to increase his accuracy, his evasion. Uh, no, yeah, his accuracy, and supposedly also his attack against certain enemies. So who are you? I fight strong ones. You face me. Um, this might be a mistake. I don't want to die. You know what? I'll return. I'll come back for you. Fine guard. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I'll take it.
Don't get too comfortable. Yeah, I definitely wanna. Well, there's no no kind of tent item to that allows you to heal on the world map. Would you please stop finding me? But at least I can save outside on the world map. Seems like, yeah, there's just a little loop here. Yes, okay. So this is a, not a very complicated or large dungeon. Oh, Lloyd. Hmm? What? Fighting in a party means that coordination with your partners is important as well. Yeah. Your choice of strategy and orders can greatly affect the tide of battle. Do not forget that you are not alone. Yeah, I know that already. Huh. Unison attack is now available. Okay, that's sudden. Yes, please. Unison attack, you attack, is an attack in which the party members attack consecutively to deliver greater damage. Sounds good. In order to unleash a you attack, a unison attack, the unison attack gauge must be filled. The unison attack gauge will increase by successfully scoring multiple hits on enemies during battle. When the you attack gauge is full, the you attack can be initiated by pressing R. So, R3, basically. The U attack sequence will begin if the initial U attack hits the enemy. Oh boy. B, position 1, controlled character. A, X, Y. So I press those in order? B, A, X, Y? Pressing each of these buttons unleashes the set's special move, one after another. Special moves used during a U attack do not consume TP. In addition, depending on the special moves used, compound special attacks may occur. Try various different combinations. Oh my god. Set up unison attacks, yes. So, yeah, okay, I guess there is a, a menu option for that, right? Setting the special moves to use in the U attack. Okay, yeah. Position 1, control character. Yes. Assigning the techniques used in U attack to each button is done in the same manner as assigning techniques to buttons on the tech menu. Okay, that's what I thought. Please note that the control character's U attacks are the same as the text settings. By pressing L plus the respective button, you can choose which techniques to use during the U attack. Okay, so I basically fire my own my own tech the same way I, I would normally do that. Uh, but until you are accustomed to the system, it is best to avoid using L and use the buttons only. If you say so. When you have become accustomed to the controls and are able to choose the, pr the appropriate move based on the situation, then try setting special moves to each of the respective directions. So, okay, so... It's just basically recommending that I... That I use only four set skills to use during a U attack. But eventually I'll be basically able to map... Um, well, twelve different... No, what? Yeah, 12 different skills, right? Three directions. Up, down, and left, right are always the same, considered the same. Up, down, sideways for each of the four buttons. Strategies and unison attacks were added to the training manual. Cool. Well, and suddenly the game got even more complex. Okay. I see. So I'll set... I don't know. Um... I guess, uh, Sword Rain? Is that the one that deals the most damage? Certainly not Demon Fang. Maybe Beast. I, I don't know. Beast feels powerful. It's also my only level 2 special attack so far. I guess I'll set that. Beast and... I don't know. Wait, does that mean that... Does that, does that change my normal tech setup? It does. Oh. Well, you know, in that in that case, I'm going to actually leave this as is. It's not like I use Demon Fang a whole ton, but it's it's actually quite cheap. So that's certainly another benefit of it. So I'll keep this as is, and I'll just try to keep in mind to to hold L up while activating the sequence. 
genus, I guess. Fireball? Hmm. Doesn't really matter what, what I set the other team members' spells to, since I never control them directly. Hmm. Okay, looks like he has only novice spells. So, does it really matter? Fireball is his first spell, right? So maybe it's not the most powerful? I don't know. Uh, for him, I'll set something a little bit more pow- Oh, oh, that's level 3. Guard, uh, special attack, guardian attack, yeah, never mind. Hmm. I guess I'll set Sonic Thrust instead. Ray Thrust. And for her, I'll put her Angel Feathers, I guess. Since it doesn't cost anything during a U attack, right? I might as well use the most expensive. And probably most powerful spell. Power Hammer. Item Thief. Oh. Is she using that? Maybe. Uh, what I kind of forgot, if the game actually mentioned it, I mean it probably did, is how to how to use U attacks to begin with. Okay, actually, also the game didn't talk about this at all. Strategy determines how the characters behave during battle. Choose strat from the main menu and choose which character's strategy to edit. Yes, done that and. I really wish there was another way to scroll through through these texts because the red stick is so so sensitive here. Three items to edit: behavior, magic, and, and special text setting, rank information. Yeah, I mean I've basically done that as one of the first things in this game, so that's okay. An order is a command for the party to temporarily change the, their strategy during battle. Orders take effect only for that particular battle. Yes, that's good. Next to at the strategy screen to edit orders. Ah, I don't think I have edited those. Up to three orders can be registered. Three basic orders are already registered from th from the beginning. To edit orders, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. The titles for the orders can be changed as well. To change the title, press X. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, I want an all-out and, and a defend order. And maybe one that, that makes everyone just stay away from the enemy. Just run away. Orders can be issued during battle using the uh, the D-pad. Okay. Call off an order. Return to the standard strategy is done. Okay. Special attack shortcuts. Party member special attacks and spells can be registered as special attack shortcuts. Yes, I've I've noticed. <laughs> Although unfortunately, it does wipe those as soon as the respective party member leaves the party. And since that tends to happen a lot, yeah, I guess I'll have to, if I really want to depend on those, I'll have to re-register -re those constantly. Yes. Uh, if the shortcut is a spell, it's possible to delay the actual execution of the spell after the order is given with L3 by holding down LB until ready. Okay, that sounds n needlessly complicated. I mean, I would like to use all these things effectively, efficiently and effectively. <laughs> I'm just not really confident that I'm going to master it anytime soon, but bear with me. Press LB and RB during battle with the, the menu open to reverse the ranks of the party. The ranks are reversed when the party has cornered the enemy. It can help even out the damage done to the party, and the battle will be finished in a favorable way. What? Um, reverse the ranks. Okay. I don't really understand how that's useful. Unison attack. Uh, well, just that's just settings. Yes. Okay. Oh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh. Okay. Some attacks not available. Yeah, I guess like healing and guarding are not available. Makes sense, I suppose. Please note that the settings for unison attacks and attacks are shared for the control character. Just for the control character. 
Yeah. Okay. To execute a unison attack, the unison attack gauge must be full. The more attacks that make contact with the enemy, the faster the gauge will fill up. When the gauge reaches max, the unison attack can be initiated by pressing... Ah, okay, right. That's what I forgot. So you initiate that by, by pressing R3. Oops. Successfully in any order to conduct the assigned attacks in that order. I hope there's no timing to that. Or not, not too tight of a timing. That probably is, though. God damn it, please. Spell, spells and special attacks executed during a unison attack do not consume TP. Yep. Also, depending on the unison, uh, on the spells or special attacks used, a special combination attack may, may occur. <sighs> oh. Okay, Tiger Blade and Power Hammer. Sonic Thrust and Sonic... Oh, two Sonic Thrusts. I guess if I combine Lloyd's and Kratos' Sonic Thrusts. Huh. I mean, maybe I'll do that. Since I've already set Sonic Thrust uh, for Kratos. Was that all? No. It is possible to change the spells and special attacks in a, uh, used in a unison attack dynamically. Yes. Okay. I think I understand how this works. Hmm. Oh, and of course, ironically, uh, Sonic Thrust is the one attack that I decided to ditch. Hmm. I mean, I love Sto Sword Rain. I want to keep that there. Tempest? I also like that. I want to use Beast. Since I can always change spells uh, in combat if I really need to, change attacks, I'll put Sonic Thrust there. And if I actually need an arranged attack, I'll switch back to uh, Demon Fang. I guess that should work. And this way I don't have to worry about using the left stick. Maybe that's the best option for now. Yeah, okay. Uh, recover. Oh, physically animals. Okay, cool. That's actually useful to have. Since poison and stuff uh, does linger after combat. Incessant, yes. Who was that girl earlier? Hmm. I hope we get to see her again. Colette, what's wrong with you? What are you talking about? She's trying to kill you. Yeah, once we become friends, I'll have to ask her why she was doing that. Huh? Are you kidding me? How do you plan on becoming friends with her? Hmm... What would you suggest? Me? How am I supposed to know? Try to come up with a plan before we see her again. Wait, I have to come up with a plan? Of course you do. Silly. Ah... Uh, well... Right, yeah, I'm gonna save this one. And even though we're not fully restored. I mean, not even close. Let's see how strong that that skeleton dude is. That skull dude, I should say. Ah, I thought I could weave through these, but... Don't get too comfortable. Not. Oh, it's a waste. Yeah, I really should try to not use any special attacks here. Any, any text. It's not a... What a hard work to always. And I should try to get my terminology straight here. You picked the wrong guy to mess Oh hey, level up. That could help. Okay, good. He's still here. Prepare to die. This is gonna be tough. Well, it might be. Maybe we'll get to use our first unison attack against this guy. That's a sword dancer. Okay. Oh my god. Yep, we are dead. We're completely and utterly toast. Oh. Look at the damage he deals through our defense. Through my defense. Oh my god. Run away, run away. Okay, cool. Um, why don't... Well, actually, 
we might as well use that ourselves. Life battle. Genus. Oh my god. Okay. Did not pay attention there. Thankfully, using items is extremely fast. Uh, how do you... Uh, no. How do you use orders again? Not like that. Um... How do you use orders? Am I auto? No, 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 no. So I don't Uh, the D-pad. Not like this, though. Uh, oh, okay, it's holding L, but it does not pause combat. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was, this, uh, that was a bit of a waste, but I had to remind myself. Okay, we're done. Done for. I wanted to jump over this guy? Okay, I did. Just to gain some distance. He just engages only halfway full. Oh my god. Uh, actually... I should have... Um, I actually wanted to. Uh, re Ow! Holy crap! Actually, I actually meant to rebind um, Kratos' first aid. My god, talking is hard. Uh, too hot key, but I didn't. So can we just... No, not all out. Guard? Reserve? Reserve, maybe? Oh my god. Don't overdo it. Please heal me, thank you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, this is not gonna work. I mean, I, I'm sure it's possible to win this. But... Why is he transparent now? <laughs> oh. Oh. A camera thing, I guess. You can do it, Kratos! No, uh, maybe not. I mean, to begin with, we didn't start with full health. Be gone, weaklings. Screw you. Huh. So you don't actually game over, which is interesting. Maybe I will come back after healing. Okay, so there's some kind of town here. Yeah, we all have to find the monument in this area first before we can ride. So why don't we look around here a little bit? Definitely in good enough shape to just fight some random encounters. You're gonna regret this. That's that. Ah yes, of course, that was the level up that happened before on the way to the skull. The sword dancer. Ah, oh, the camera, my god. That woman. What is it? Uh, it's just the clothes that Assassin was wearing. Don't you think they were rather unique? Hmm. Indeed. They aren't something you see every day. I know, I bet they're dwarven clothes. The ones I'm wearing now were made by my father. Well, don't they look kind of similar? How can you call that similar? Hmm, <laughs> is this what happens when one is raised by a dwarf? <laughs> what? That they lose all... This is gonna be a piece of... All of their ability to... I don't know. Judge fashion. Again, I, I really didn't pay attention to her 
her outfit at all. Just as I, expected. I guess it wasn't very similar to Lloyd's after all. Oh, okay, there's something here. I mean, there tends to be something in these remote little remote areas. Regenerating the world, such foolish nonsense. Huh? Yeah, what's fo what's so foolish about it? Let's say this regeneration is successful. But eventually, the world will start to decline again like before. Then another Chosen will go on a dangerous journey. It does not end. That's... What are we doing? Uh, what we are doing does not solve the basic problem. It only buys some time. I wonder why the world regeneration was created in the first place. Hmm. What? You're asking that question now? Yeah? It doesn't matter. You now have doubts. If you do not stop your thought process, then maybe something will will change. Okay. Kratos, you're pretty weird. Maybe I am. Hmm. I mean, pretty obvious that he's not just a mercenary helping us for money. We knew that, basically. It seems like maybe he's not even... I mean, it seems pretty obvious that he's not actually a supporter of the, the whole regeneration thing. But so long as he's not actually trying to stop us, I mean, maybe he's going to betray us at some point. It wouldn't be a first. But then... He could have tried stopping us, stopping this entire journey of regeneration a long time ago, right? Wouldn't have to wait wait that long before he actually decides to act against us. So I don't know, maybe it's more complicated than that. If his ultimate goal is to find a more permanent solution than to repeat this cycle over and over, then I'm all for it. Kinda seems like that may be the case. But either way, even then, uh, it's it seems like a good idea to to try and uh, you know fix things at least temporarily, because buying time is uh, is also going to help with our, help us find a more permanent solution. For example, don't get too comfortable. <laughs> I'm not going to use unison attack against this guy. Seems like the gauge carries over, even though it's not actually shown here anywhere. Also, what happened to Colette's uh, TS gauge there? I had been wondering before why her gauge was not filling at all. Or very slowly. But it was going toward S before, and now it's towards... I mean, I didn't change anything here. The thing is, basically, I don't fully understand what that... what that even does. The game was trying to explain that to me, but... I don't know. Either it did a bad job, or I did a bad job understanding. Now, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna run into this... Uh, skeleton Dancer, Sword Dancer, what, what's it called? Well, this guy anyway. And try to use a unison attack right away. I doubt I'll be... Uh, I doubt I'll defeat situation. it right away. Sword Dancer. Here we go. Angel what? Brothers. Sonic Sonic um... Oh, okay. And it goes off now. That was not nearly as much damage as I hoped it might be. Oh my god. What? Please. Alright, thank you. Maybe if I just stand here tanking? Oh my god. And then he attacks twice in a row. Never mind. Hmm. 
Damn. We're just not doing enough damage to it normally. Oh my god. And then that happens. Okay. <laughs> oh well. I mean, I used the light bottle. Whatever. Take this. First aid. A valiant effort, Kratos. At least now I kind of know how unison attack works. It seems like it's pretty generous with the timing, which is nice. This is gonna be a piece of cake. But I was really expecting a much bigger damage boost there because oh, I kind of forgot that we're all at one hit point now. Well, this is gonna be a little bit awkward. Run away. Yep. Oh, hey, achievement unlocked unison attacker. Why did it unlock now? Maybe it... Uh, well, I have, I have a theory. And the theory, theory is that maybe the game waited until the next regular end of combat. And because that uh, Sword Dancer combat was, was a special case, where you neither died nor nor escaped, nor won. That didn't count. Welcome to I Izuld? Izuld? That's a weird name. It's a small village, but the harbor is splendid. Okay, if you say so. Whether you need food or a room, the Seagull Inn is at your service. Well, we kind of need a room, yes. Maybe let's take care of that first and foremost. Welcome to the Seagull Inn. One night is 120 gold. Well, beggars can't be choosers, so... Hmm? Man, it's hard to believe Colette has wings now. Yeah, I was surprised too. And say, Colette, what's going to happen at the next seal? What? Next you... maybe you get an angel halo, or your body starts glowing. Hmm. I don't think I'll be, it'll be horns or fangs or anything. I mean, you're an angel after all. Gina, stop. Okay, now it's time for children to <laughs> to be getting to bed. <laughs> Colette, it's weird, isn't it? Having wings? No, it's not. Even if you become an angel, you're still okay. You're still you, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Lloyd. Yeah, I mean, I can think of worse things than having glowy angel wings. I mean, it, they stand out a little bit, but... You know, it's not like some kind of horrible disease or anything. Please take care. Yeah, we'll try. Uh, no. I thought you mentioned something about buying things? Hmm. Maybe not. Hmm? Food or... oh, food, specifically. Okay. Hey there. Uh, well... I'm not sure what to think of this this cat's exploration team. Hello. Lyda, okay. <sighs> Afrid, where are you now? Are you still wandering the seas? How can I quell these feelings I have, Afrid? I think, if I'm not mistaken, Afrid is some kind of recurring side character character in the tale series. My granddaughter is so naive. She let herself be toyed around uh, around with by that rogue. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a very similar situation in Tales of Hesperia, where a girl was also like swooning over over a guy. I didn't rem remember the name, but. Uh, I guess it must have been the same Afrid. That was in another harbor town. Uh, Capua Torin? I think. Go east across the, the ocean to get to Palma Costa. <laughs> Palma Costa, really. The largest city in Silverant. Okay. Someday I'm going on a journey in this boat. Uh, good luck with that. That looks in, to be in bad shape somehow. Better fix it up. Waves of fun, star. 
if you say so. Oops. Anything more? Right now, monsters are roaming the sea, so you won't find many ships going out. But if you go north by land, you'll run into monsters too. Uh, that's true. Oh, well, they do have at least one ship here. Okay, this is a bit bigger than I thought it would be. What's this place then? There's no design human ranch in this area, so we can relax and live in peace. A tiny village like this probably isn't even worth attacking. Yeah, you'd think so, and still. I know of a certain other small village that was attacked. What's this? Huh? Oh. Okay. Did not ex expect to find you here. Mysterious Gourmet the Wonder Chef. I shall teach you the recipe for a simple and delicious dish, rice ball. Yay. Only one ingredient, rice. I mean, that's the most basic kind of rice ball. Uh, seriously. Okay. Well then, let's take a look at the harbor section of this small fishing village. Uh, what are you doing here? Emo cats, what? <laughs> yeah, want to play some EB? Uh, um, EB? It stands for Emotional Balloon, meow. Of, of course it does. Pick the same one I do. Aim for a synchro rate of 100%. You can do it. I'm not sure I can. Let's go easy. Uh, oh my god, okay. Yeah. Dot dot dot. Uh, drop. Question marks. Easy. Smile and cry. Uh, what? Oh, that's that one. That's that one. That one. Uh, that one. So far, so good. Okay, that was relatively easy. I did it, perfect. <laughs> so moved. Five apple gels, yay. Okay, interesting. And that switched to genus uh, automatically. Hmm, I have been told that a uh, certain, that it makes a difference sometimes when you, uh, whether you, you, you talk to an NPC as Lloyd or someone else. Basically, which is makes it unfortunate that you can't just quickly switch the lead character. You have to go into the menu and do it like this. I mean, I guess with some with certain int uh, or you know important characters, seemingly important NPCs, I might try talking to them with different NPCs, uh, different party members. Looking for a ship? The only ship in this port still operating is the fishing boat that belongs to Max, son of the head fisherman. Okay. Yeah. But for most NPCs, I expect that the dialogue is the same no matter who you talk to or who you talk to with. I came to I came to stock up on fish, but they're not fishing right now. Well, that sucks. And also, you're kind of blocking my way to this other NPC here, which also sucks. Would you please turn around? Oh God! The chosen is going to come here soon. I mean, okay, in this case, if we actually talk to her as the Chosen, no, she just doesn't acknowledge that at all. Hmm. Say, don't you look a bit like that wanted poster? No. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Speaking of which, maybe we should took that, um, take that down. Hmm. I spotted contact the nearest human ranch. Well, I mean, since there isn't one around here... That guy is turning towards me. That's not creepy at all. Uh, you want to go to sea? You should talk to the boss. 
Ask the boss. Okay. So you're Max's son? What? You're looking for a ship? You're a fisherman. Try someone else. Oh, what? But... Not a passenger ship, I guess. So I guess that's not the ship that's still going out to sea? It is a ship. Have you seen my dog? No. I don't think so. Hey, did you hear? There's a weird guy who drifts around the ocean in a homemade boat. Hmm, I hadn't heard. But I have a feeling that we might run into him. Welcome to Deep Blue. Oh, oh, this is the shop. Alright. Apple gel, orange gel. Hmm. Life bottles. I mean, we're doing fine on life bottles. Barley rice. Well, we don't have any rice, so... I guess I might as well... Stock up on some. Seaweed. Oh, that must be an extra ingredient. 19? Oh, we ha I guess we must have one. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, it, it tells us right there. Hmm. Let's buy some of all the ingredients, I guess. Max is head over heels in love with Lila. Oh. Although Lila doesn't seem to be interested in him at all. No. She has a crush on someone else. So is this where Max is? Come on out, my dear! Huh? Are you talking to me? Hmm? No. Oh, talk? Hello? Shh! Don't tell anyone I'm here! Okay. Uh... Just saying, uh, maybe instead of just standing here and calling, you should just take a look back there. None of my business, though. So... Oh, this must be him. <sighs> Excuse me, are you Max, the owner of the ship? Yes, why? Could you take us to Palma Costa? You've got to be kidding. The sea is dangerous. No way. Oh. That's unfortunate. Well, I asked. Hmm. So, what are we going to do now? Talk to Lila? Oh, she's gone. Okay, so something's certainly up here. Hmm. Wait, or was that even... No, that, that wasn't her house. She's here. There. Well, maybe Afrid is the guy... In the homemade boat, and maybe you are the, the the boy's dog. No. Hmm. Uh, wasn't there a way to look at the map? Oh uh, yes, of course. Oh, I also. <clears throat> Why didn't you say anything? I completely forgot to. Look at the synopsis at the beginning of the episode. I guess we'll have a longer one again next time. Huh. It looks like we can go north and cross a bridge to the other continent. Maybe we can go on foot. It's gonna be a long journey, but... It looks like it should be possible. Assuming we can cross the, the mountains there to the far east. I guess it's worth a try. Also keeping my eyes out for that monument and any other interesting objects, of course. At least the game lets me look a little bit ahead now. As long as I don't approach anywhere, any, any walls or mountains. Ouch.
Hmm? What's this? Only just one of those small enemies here. Yeah. This is gonna be a piece of So slime skills zombies, okay? That was just warming up. Oh, 19 XP? For those? Huh. I mean it was an easy fight, but that's quite a step back. Compared to what we've been fighting so far. Oh, no no no. There isn't anything interesting here. See that enemy. You're There's some kind of event there. Maybe I'll just use units and attack in the next random combat. I mean, in a dungeon, it's probably worth keeping it, keeping the full units engaged for the boss. Oh, hey, there's a monument too. What do you know? Long mode cannot be used by Osa Mountain Range District, Izul Circ Circumference. Okay. I mean, sure enough. Yeah, but okay, that's on the other side. Uh, I'm not gonna use it against these though. If we run into another humanoid group, then maybe. Never had a chance. You're gonna regret this. Let me attack you, thank you. It's a flickering also. It's a little bit unsettling. Alright, what have we here? Don't you sometimes think that what we're doing is meaningless? No. 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 We won't know if it's meaningless until we do it. A very simple-minded answer. Hey. I doubt that there'll ever be an ending that'll satisfy everyone. Well, there might be, maybe. See? You agree with me too. But I guess since I'm like this, that's why you and I make a good team. I like how you always force yourself to be optimistic. Why do I feel like that's not a compliment? Hmm. I'm not sure if it was one. Can we? No, it cannot mount up here. So this is officially a new region. Oh, camera please. Aha. Uh -huh. There's not a town, but I think that's Traveling Caravan, yeah, that we've seen before. This is gonna be oh, tough. you're... Okay. Hmm, Dragon Rider and Velocity Dragon. I don't know, is it worth using Unison Attack here? Probably not, but whatever. They are dealing a, a lot of damage compared to most other normal enemies, but um, maybe I should not be pressing the entirely wrong button. Hmm. They do have a ton of hit points, my god. Out of 
GP. Uh, why don't you revive Let's. Oh, okay. Finally took out that dino. Eh, I mean, uh, it's a decent amount of experience, just probably not worth the effort. And the game is clearly telling me that this is not where I'm supposed to be in it right now. So we're probably doing uh, supposed to do something down by Isold. Who are you? Hmm? Who are you? Oh my, we don't get visitors very often. May I help you? Also, this is a different caravan than before. Uh, no, we, we're just passing by. Are you in the middle of a pilgrimage? We are traveling while studying the animals of the wild, of the world. I'm a zoologist. Really? That's a weird thing to do in these dangerous times? It is. What are you slapping me for, Rain? Traveling the world in pursuit of knowledge? That's wonderful. I mean, yeah, I agree. It's still very unusual. I don't see anything wrong with that statement. <laughs> I... I just like seeing all sorts of rare animals. Hmm. We even saw a giant glowing bird. Glowing bird? That may have may have been Asuka, the summoned spirit of light. Okay. Really? That bird is a summoned spirit? I see. That would explain why it's a species I've never seen before. Say, tell us about the time you saw it. The information might come in handy, and besides, I want to hear the story. In that case, I think it would be better to ask my children. I actually didn't get a good look at the bird. Okay, I'll try asking them. Uh, children like you, for example. You know, on that day I picked nuts from the tree. And um, it makes a pretty sound. That's... Uh, could we see it? What? So this is a linkite nut. Oh. It really does make a pretty sound. Oh, you were talking about the nuts. <laughs> hmm. I'll give that one to you. I have some more. Thank you very much. I think I'd not... Um, thank you? Is that a key item? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Produces beautiful music when the wind blows. How weird. Alright. Anything more? My brother hurt himself bad recently. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Say, tell us in detail about the time you saw the glowing bird. Ah, it was on the Ossa Trail. Okay. We were camping out near the peak and that glowing bird appeared. Ossa Trail, hmm. Also, the wind was strong that day. A tree nearby played a mysterious melody as its nuts shook in the wind. It was like a beautiful song. Tree nuts playing a mysterious melody? What the heck is that? I mean, we just learned about that. That's probably the Linkai tree that is said to grow in high places. It's said that when the nuts shake in the wind, they make a beautiful sound, like bells. Hmm. Didn't know that was a tr there was a tree like that. But doesn't that mean we can meet Asuka if we just go to the Osa Trail? No, the tree isn't there anymore. Either someone cut it down or and took it away, or it was carried away in a landslide or something. Um, well, I guess there was a landslide recently. Yeah, we didn't see any tree like that when we went there before. The stump we saw near the peak might have been it. I did not see that stump, but I guess there might have been one. Hmm. We've traveled all over the world, but we've yet to see that tree again. That tree is thought to be extinct from over-harvesting and natural disasters. I don't think it will be easy to find. Hmm. So do we go there and plant the nuts that we have? To make a new one grow there? Hmm. Recently, while surveying the area, I tried heading further north from here. I almost lost my life in the process. Yeah, it seems like enemies are pretty tough around here. Okay, so that's when he got hurt, I guess. Oh, you're... Uh, Sarah, thanks again. What, Sarah? Do we know her? Lloyd, do you know her? Yeah, good question. She helped us out when it was just the two of us. Oh. Did she? Um, I feel... I feel kind of bad not remembering, but... Oh. Oh my. Thank you so much for looking after these children. It was my pleasure. Sarah, there is something we'd like to ask you. 
If you know anything about the glowing bird, we'd like to we'd like you to tell us. Hmm. I imagine that bird can only be found among steep, impregnable mountains. Once you could never reach by foot. Why do you think that? Because we've been everywhere that one can walk to. Hmm. If you could find it in one of those places, I think we would already have encountered it. Doesn't seem entirely conclusive, but sure. I'll sum up the situation in which they encountered the glowing bird. First, they encountered it on the Ossa Trail. This indicates that the glowing bird only appears in high places. Next, a linkite tree made a beautiful sound as if the nuts were producing a melody. Finally, on that day there was a strong wind, and the sound of the linkite nuts was carried a long distance by the wind. I think that about sums it up. They said that after traveling around the world, they went back to the Ossa Trail again, but the linkite tree was already gone. And they've yet to find another Linkai tree on any of their journeys. At least, there weren't any they could get to by foot. Hmm. Which means in order to meet Asuka, we need to search for a Linkai tree in a place you can't get it you can't get to on foot. That sounds impossible. Yes, well we don't need to accomplish it immediately. And even if we did find a Linkai tree, it wouldn't do us any good if it was dead. The sound has to be carried on the wind and playing a melody sounds difficult too. Could you do something about the dead tree with your healing arts? My power alone wouldn't be enough. In order to heal something that's already dead, I'd need something that could strengthen my skills. Something that could call forth the Linkite tree's will to live. Something like an X-sphere or even just a shard of one. Also, if it's dead, that means the ground there is weak. We'd need to replenish the earth and make it nourishing again. That's the only one I can think of who might have a spare X-sphere. Although, if there are any other dwarves around, they might have one too. Hmm. There's nothing we can do. Let's give up on Asuka. Fascinating. Whoa. I see now. That's impressive, the way you've found the, the rules of how, the, how it works. But all we've learned is that meeting Asuka is hard. <laughs> well, I suppose so. I've gone ahead and made note of the information you've assembled. Feel free to talk to me any time you want to hear it. Okay, that should be extremely convenient. So this is this sounds like a major side quest, <laughs> if I ever heard one. Hmm? What is it? Show us the memo about the glowing bird. I mean, it's probably just going to repeat everything we just said. Thought to be somewhere that cannot be reached by foot, so we'll have to find the airship slash dragon slash whatever is going to allow us to fly eventually. If the Linkai tree is dead, we must strengthen the healing arts, call forth the tree's will to live, and nourish the ground. Okay. Hmm. But will we also need the Linkite trees that we get? Uh, the Linkite nuts that we get? Who knows? Well, uh, there was this was an unexpected little encounter. Hmm. Let's save after this, just in case. Now, I'm still not sure if I'm supposed to go on north from here. I guess I might as well. Maybe see if I can find the monument. Or any glowy circles. Oh. Get sniped by one of these. This is a dangerous oh, hi there. Tortoises, huh? Yeah. I mean, we can defeat these enemies. But even if we make it to the next town or dungeon or whatever, uh, it's typically not possible to progress because the game is just going to deny us access or whatever. It's typically completely impossible to sequence break like that in a JRPG. Hmm. 
If I could unlock the, the guidepost monument for later, that would be tough. convenient. Don't yeah, these do look tough. Look tough. Don't do Ouch. No I deal a ton of damage. That actually was a good amount of damage there. Ow. Please heal? Oh, he can't. Um, um. Oh god. Apple gel on me. Okay, thanks. Good thing that happens basically instantly. Yeah, but I'm. I don't know. I think. I'm going to retreat after this fight return south and see if I can find what we're actually supposed to do. Um, Stop kicking my friends, please. Uh, and me. God damn it. I should have healed in time. Apple gel is definitely less expensive, less valuable. Ah, got that. So let's why. There we go. Well, at least those guys are worth a lot of experience, but yeah, not worth the effort again. Doesn't seem to be anything of interest in the region I've seen so far. One right after another. Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna do this again. Run away, please. Oh my god. Running away takes so long. Seriously? You guys are just gonna get yourself killed. Guys, I'm just on my way out of your territory. Oh, oh of course, I got sniped by one last enemy. Um, that's a new one. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, at least we're gonna we're we're running away much much faster. Uh, I mean, maybe these would have been defeatable. But also, I'd rather just pay 120 to rest and heal everyone than to use another life bottle. Oh, enemy that Don't I didn't get see. Too comfortable. These though. Yeah, I don't understand why these give so little experience. That makes no sense. They're not really that much weaker than other enemies in the area. Huh. Well. Anyway, we are going to rest here. Nothing special happened. No stalker coming after us. Kind of disappointing, actually. Uh, oh, I keep thinking that the entrance is towards the camera, but it's not. Uh, well, 
We did talk to everyone, right? Oh. I got here by getting a ride on a boat from a guy named Afrid. You don't say. Afrid? No, he's not here anymore. He said he was going back to his hometown. Okay. Interesting. The monsters in the north are strong and I'm too scared to go. Yeah. I don't think that's the way I'm supposed to go either. Hmm, I mean, now that we've heard about Efrid from this guy... Oh, okay. So that's all I had to do? Talk to him before? Maybe I just never talked to that guy. How can I quell these feelings I have? Efrid! <sighs> if you're looking for Efrid, we heard he went back to his hometown. What did you say? Is that true? Uh, yeah. Isn't it, Lloyd? I'm, we did hear that, yeah. So it seems anyway. This is my chance. And this helps us how? I thought maybe she was going to tell us what his hometown was. I see. So Avery was running away from that woman. Hmm. That's why he always moored his boat at the pier quietly in the middle of the night. Uh, is that a hint? To wait for... Nightfall. Nope. Or not. What's the matter with you? You're going to refuse my request? He's returned to his hometown of Luin. Oh, okay. Now we know. It's not like that. There are giant monsters at sea now. It's dangerous, and I care about, about you too much to let you come aboard. That's all. Fine. Then you go deliver the letter for me. No, why should I have to act as a go-between for my rival in love? Oh, please stop whining. Fine. You there, excuse me. Um, us? Do you see anyone else here? I'd like you to deliver this letter for me to Efrid and Luin. We can't deliver it if we can't cross the ocean. If, you de if you'll deliver it, I'll have Max take you on his boat. Um... <laughs> You can't be serious. No. I mean... This is a completely ridiculous situation, of course. But uh, if it gets us across the ocean, I guess we'll we'll do it. Then it's settled. All right, Max? I I'm not going to do it. You're kidding me. Are you saying it's all right if my letter doesn't make it to Avery? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Layla, no, I mean, it's it's not... I don't mean that. Then what do you mean? If you keep making a fuss about this, I'll just do this on my own. Okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go, damn it. You should have just said that from the start. Then it's in your hands now. Make sure it gets to him. Okay. She's really pushy. Let me know when you're ready to leave. <sighs> yeah, you're... A little bit... I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that, of course. But first, I am going to go save and end this episode. This feels like a good point to stop, and this is not the end. Ah, oh, damn it. So, there. Well, a lot of, a lot of things happened. Not necessarily story-wise, but... Well, I guess we did meet that strange assassin. And we learned about... We learned a new core game mechanic. Which is always fun. Yeah, other than that, I, I mean, I guess we discovered a new region. Met new people. Uh, were introduced to... Uh, yeah, this weird little Afrid Lila romance thing. <laughs> Not really much of a romance, I guess. Uh, which acts as a convenient plot device to get us to the next con continent, so I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.